do I want to play Dark Souls today, or maybe, maybe some Killing Floor? Ugh, if only I didn't have to decide. Oh wait, I don't. Rogue Masters is what you get if you took the combat from Dark Souls and put it into a game like Killing Floor. That is to say, a wave-based horde-style battle game, and it's a lot of fun. Couple of things to note before I start this review. One, the game was provided to me for free, but the things I'm about to share with you are my genuine thoughts and feelings. And two, I am joined today by the one, the only, the Duke of Craft. Hello. How's it going? Hey. Great. Hey. You ready to die? Always. All right, so when I say this game's combat is like Dark Souls, I mean it's exactly like Dark Souls. Dodge rolling, parrying, as this big huge chunk of swords that cleave through enemies, yep, it's all there. But most importantly, poise. See this little blue bar? See how tiny and pathetic it is? I kinda assumed this was a mana bar at first. I mean, blue bar under the red health and green stamina bar. Must be mana, right? There's no mana in this game. This is just a visual representation of your poise. The bigger the bar, the, well, bigger your poise. Now, I usually play Dark Souls the only true way, naked with a massive pointy stick plus an ultra greatsword, so I thought I would do the same here. Well, in the beginning, I did use the starting armor, which gives a minuscule amount of defenses and poise, but when I got a chunkier sword, I started stripping armor off to compensate and keep below a fat roll. Big mistake. Let me ask you, what is the worst part about Dark Souls 2? That's right, the whole thing. The Gank Fights. This game is just Dark Souls the Gank Fight, meaning at any point I had like five to seven dudes trying to cut me to ribbons, and if even one of them landed a hit, my poise would shatter and I would be in for a world of hurt. But this is a self-inflicted problem. The moment I started putting on armor, it became a non-issue and I became Gronk the Destroyer of Worlds. I just really wanted to highlight this specific thing because the devs stayed very faithful to the Souls formula. Player attacks feel slow but weighted and enemies definitely react to getting hit. Well, except the bigger ones, but I mean, have you ever tried punching the side of a building? It wouldn't move either. But I've gotten a little ahead of myself with the combat, so let me back up and explain how it should go. When you first load into the game, you're given some credits to buy armor and some gems. Armor does exactly what you'd expect it to, and gems are essentially your rings or talismans. Some boost health, equip load, and stamina, others make you deal more damage at full health, or take 100% increased damage because the devs understand their demographic. You're also able to pick a small, medium, or large shield and the basic version of a handful of weapons. Once you're into the game proper, you'll be able to play through the first round, and then there'll be an intermission which will allow you to buy better weapons as well as consumables. The way the weapons seem to work is that the more expensive they are, the better they are. I mean, that kind of makes sense, but it means that the next weapon is almost always strictly better than the last one. The only caveat to this is the natively infused elemental weapons, and even then, those are only less effective against enemies that resist whichever element. Which means it's kind of better to just get the strongest plain weapon you can, than buff it with elemental damage. The shop has the aforementioned resins, as well as several elemental firebombs and a couple other items, the best of which is a bubble that will save you from death and an item that can revive fallen comrades. Speaking of, you might have noticed that I have an alarming amount of heals. It caps to 15, and believe me, at higher weight and difficulties, you'll need those. And that kind of wraps up the player half of the combat, so what about the enemies? Well, the good news is that there are a large number of enemy types. You got your basic dudes with swords, guys with light and medium shields, archers and mages, asshole rogues that will 100% circle around you and backstab you into oblivion. It's a good variety. And I notice that they aren't programmed to be fodder. The archers will actually run away and reposition, and the healing and buffing mages will hide behind the larger enemies. I really wanted to highlight this because a lot of wave-based games will just have enemies try to swarm you, which to be fair works for anything melee, but it doesn't make sense when the archer does it. They can also buff their weapons, which is just a neat little extra thing. My only complaint with the enemies is that their pathing can sometimes be a little janky, and they will also lock on to a single player, and that player can kind of just kite them around while the other one swings at them. I mean, they will switch targets if you hit them, but it makes the larger enemies way less menacing when you can just stand there and charge up a chunky attack and they walk into it. There was one other thing I wanted to address about the enemies, but I'm unsure if it's a skill issue or something worth noting. See, their animations are all fluid and well put together, but they have this theme where they'll slowly build up an attack, but then the actual damaging part of the hitbox comes out lightning quick. I'm reminded of a boss like Margit in Elden Ring, where he'll slowly wind up an attack then let it rip, but the comparison falls short when it's not a 1v1, and instead it's a 1v like 36. Again, I want to just chalk it up to a skill issue on my part, but it can be kind of difficult to analyze three different enemies slow build up and dodge efficiently. But that's basically the combat in a nutshell. It's Dark Souls, but horde mode, and it's fun. So let's move on to the story. You are a warrior of willpower, fighting against the entropy. That's kinda it. To be fair, Rogue Masters isn't set up to have a story focus, it's just get in and fight some monsters and get out. I can appreciate that they at least went as far to give you a reason to fight them, you know, save humanity from entropy, but I would like to see a little more in this department. Maybe something like a dedicated hero NPC that has fought the entropy for years and between waves they can talk to the player. 
The full extra mile would be to make a campaign that you and your friends can play through that leads up to you fighting the final boss. Each level could be just different waves of enemies or something, kinda like Orcs Must Die. Again though, Rogue Masters isn't trying to be story focused, so I'm willing to give it a little bit of leeway, but a tiny bit of lore setup and an NPC talking to you throughout the waves could drastically help set up world building. Speaking of world building, there are three distinct levels in the game. One is a frosty frozen castle, one is a secluded foresty fortress, and one is the war-torn ruins of a great city. All three levels are distinct and I can see a lot of love and care went into making them, and despite the lower poly aesthetic the game is going for, I can tell what's what. You know, a potion on the alchemy table is clearly a potion on the alchemy table, beer mugs in the dining hall are beer mugs, that sort of thing. The enemies, however, kinda stand out as not being designed with the world in mind. However, I think that's a good thing. What I mean is that the enemies are the forces of entropy, they are foreign to the land, twisted and broken by corruption, they shouldn't reflect the world design, they should reflect their own origin, and I think they do that well. To be completely fair and unbiased, they can be a little generic, I mean dude with shield and sword, massive ogre with hammer, that sort of thing, but they all fill their roles perfectly. Transitioning to sound design, the sound effects are all good. You know when you get hit, and let me tell you, it is incredibly satisfying to cleave through like a dozen enemies in one swing. It just feels good, man. Same with the enemies. Larger ones have heavy footsteps, which believe me, when you aren't aware something is coming up behind you, can be kinda terrifying. The actual music... I didn't really notice. It's not bad. I went back and recorded footage with only music on for this video and I think it's nice. It just doesn't have anything particularly special about it. However, it is not intrusive and I think it fits the overall theme of the game. It's even 3D audio with it swelling as enemies get closer to you and fading as they distance themselves. I briefly mentioned it earlier, but as you can see, the developers went for a more simplistic art design and I think it works really well. Not every game has to be hyper photo realistic and as I mentioned, you can clearly distinguish things in the environment and enemies that are approaching. One thing I wasn't sure where to mention, so I'm just gonna kinda shoehorn it in here, is the amount of customization. Both your character and your armor can be customized out the wazoo. Once you own a couple sets of armor, you can transmog them into other pieces, but I don't just mean the whole armor set, I mean bits and pieces of it. Then you can even customize the collar. Honestly, if you told me the dev team put more time into fashion souls than the actual game, I might believe you. Okay, with that said, it's finally time to answer the question, is it doomed? Well... It's kind of difficult for me to answer that. One thing I haven't mentioned is that the game is currently in early access for $15. Now, my honest feelings are that I had fun, but I also felt like there wasn't a lot to do. Currently, there are three levels and one champion of entropy. So, in its current state, I wouldn't really feel comfortable saying it isn't doomed, but I'm also aware that the game won't stay in early access forever. This will be something that you have to decide, dear viewer, if you're okay with giving them money for early access or not. Additionally, having friends to play this with makes it way more fun. I did a few rounds solo to capture footage, and I mean it was okay, but it was way more fun with the Duke by my side. So, because of that, if the game were to be released in the current state with no changes, I would have to say it's doomed. However, I believe Rogue Masters has potential and will grow into a great game given more time. Thank you everyone for watching, and an extra special thanks to my patrons. Stay beautiful, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribing. It really helps the channel out, and check out the other Doomed episodes I've done. And while you're at it, please go over to the Duke of Crafts channel and check out his stuff. He works really hard to make some super cool video game and movie replicas, so drop a comment on one of his videos with what crazy thing you want to see him make. Lastly, the rest of this video is some clips of the Dukes and I's playthrough, so I hope you enjoy us being stupid. But until next time, my friends, don't you dare go hollow. I'm using a mouse and keyboard. You've made um, a mistake. Do you remember Dark Souls controls? No. Oh, well, I can't. I was going to try and help, but you're not using a controller, so fucking never mind. No idea. I not switch between weapons? Um, if you have more than one, try hitting right on the D-pad. What the hell? <laughs> it's Dark Souls controls, boy. Shields are left on the D-pad, by the way. Left trigger is uh, special or... Harry, if you have a shield, I don't know what it would be for that yeah, shield. You know what? Hold on a second. <laughs> he just grabbed the control. controller. I thought you already did that. I'm sorry. We gonna die. That's definitely right. <laughs> Listen. I will anyway. You'll probably be like dragging my <laughs> decapitated corpse along behind like a ragdoll. We're gonna get across that finish line. So help me God. What? How did that? I was blocking. I don't. I don't think the shield works. <laughs> I don't think the shield works. You know what's funny? We're only on wave one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should have bought gear. Yeah. That's a cool looking shield. Yeah. It's a, not bad. Does it have like extra lightning defense or is that just aesthetic? Um, yeah, I don't really know, honestly. <laughs> I just bought it because it looks cool. Fair. Right. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I keep hitting, uh, like pushing down left stick to sprint. Mm -hmm. And it's not the button. You got backstabbed. Yep, I sure did. He wasn't there on my screen, but I did. 
Oh, that's a big motherfucker. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to deal with that. Don't go that way. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a big boy. Nice, I was about to do the same thing. Ah! Oh, and it I'm looks like the... You're here against entropy. How do I do that? Game, tell me. <laughs> maybe I should, maybe we should have played the tutorial. <laughs> maybe so. Frost mode, activate! Frostmorn hungers. Basically. <laughs> you are not prepared? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> you are correct. I am probably gonna die. No, no, no. No, I'm in a no, corner. No, no. I cannot get out. I'm in I, I'm not. Shit. Yeah, I'm dead. Well, that's the end of us. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> that is unfortunate. There are high frames on the back. Oh, step. that's a big motherfucker! Huh! Uh, I don't know about on back step. Back stab, I mean. Oh, there should be. Oh, please leave me alone. Oh, I don't want that at all. Uh, <laughs> don't go that way. <laughs> oh. He big oh, angry. That's a... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Don't kick. Run. Don't kick. Run. <laughs> don't kick. Oh, there's another big one. I'm going to try and sprint by you and heal. Or I can get slammed. Oh, what he turned! <laughs> yeah, this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was gonna swing it. Whack! <laughs> that was what amazing. Are you Ooh. trying to get in front of him? No, it's too. Did that just kill us? Oh, thank God. Yep. Okay, okay now well. I'm actually dead. <laughs> oh! Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> Shredded you. All right, you finish it. Bring it home. <laughs> No, no, don't give me. <laughs> Just give me. <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> Ow. Oh, you know what would really suck? There's friendly fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would be <laughs> terrible. Yeah, I can get any of the shields and not be over encumbered. I had to take my pants off. <laughs> <laughs> Rip that guy. Yep. Man, this makes a big difference having a weapon that does damage. <laughs> I can see that. They are not respecting the 2v1 right now. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be subscribing to that. But you all should subscribe to Doom Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, baby. <laughs> Oh good, you went right after you. <laughs> sure did. Oh shit, I forgot to pop off my heels. That sucks. How many do you have? Eight. Oh, that's not good. Oh god, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, right in the asshole. Hell yeah. Eat my ass. 